Welcome back, everyone, for another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Majora's Mask. Where we last left off, it's time to enter the brave new world. Let's get going. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. <laughs> Welcome to Clock Town. The main hub world town of the game. He gave me the creeps. That salesman. That mass salesman was the. Oh, sorry, just thinking that loud. But three days? Even if you never sleep, that still gives us a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, if you wanna find the skull. Look, you wanna find the skull kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Cave is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. So with the start, after you leave that door, you get a time limit. Each hour, I believe, lasts 30 seconds. So use your time wisely and effectively. So yeah, let's get going. Dog! Hey, hey! Wait, wait! Hang on! A flying Deku scrub. How come he gets to free fly freely and I can't? He's got a funny hat. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. I'm already sold out of my wares. And the carnival hasn't even started. I'm thinking of closing the shop. So I can buy a gift from my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a, a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. You, do you have one? You're a Deku scrub, so you just know how convenient a Deku flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another Deku Scrub. The early deck the early scrub gets the nut. Hmm, gotta look out for a moon here then. So let's go north. A Majora's balloon. How ugly. No, that yeah, that is pretty ugly. Oh, a piece of heart! Oh, we can't get it at the moment. Let's stockpile on some delicious rupees. Oh my god. This guy. The most hated guy in the Legend of Zelda world. What's this? Pink clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you be by chance a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tinkle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas. Now I am already age 35. No fairy has come to me yet. I can't imagine why not. My father tells me to grow up and act my age. But why? I tell you, Tingle is the very incarnation of a fairy. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I send Max to help out my father. Lucky, lucky. You're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I'll send you a map for tea as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? We might as well. We need a map. Maps are very important to have. Yippee! And now we got a map of Clock Town. Now you can find your way around town. The red arrows on the map show where you've entered, and the yellow arrow shows your current location. Well, call again! These are magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them! Ugh. Thank God I'll never have to do his voice again. So anyways, this should be the cave. Oh, that's a lot of great fairies. Oh no, the great fairy! Um, I didn't like when you said, oh no. 
No one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Okay, we gotta go look for a fairy then. Somewhere in town. But at least we got a hollow map down at the bottom screen. Bottom right. Fortunately, I know where the gray fairy, this little fairy, is located. Should be right here. Oh, there it is. Please hear my plea. The masked skull has broken me apart and scared my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Damn it, emulator. Alright, let's get to the great fairy fountain then. There we go. We're here. Let's go. Give the great fairy her fairy piece, Dealey. And with that, the great fairy combines together into one very hot chick. Oh, olden day, Nintendo. Should have kept this fairy design. Tail, and you, one of altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked kid was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Okay, then. We got magic power now. Sweet deal, game. Sweet deal. You have been granted. <clears throat> you have been granted magic power. In your current form, press the B button to shoot bubble blasts. Press and hold the B button to blow a big bubble. Release to shoot it. Your magic power will decrease when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, young kind one. If you ever, if you are ever returned to your nor former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. No, come back, hot chick of hot chickenness. Oh well, we got magic power. We met a hot chick, and we gotta go find an observatory. Sure, why not? Hold up, let's get more delicious rupees. Okay, just have to make sure no rupee left behind. And here we are in, um, hmm, oh, East Clock Town. There's a kid blocking the way. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Wrong! Jim said I can't let anyone who doesn't know the code in. If you're not a member, they won't teach you the secret code. If you want to be a member, go see Jim in North Clock Town. All right then. Let's go find Jimmy, who well, hopefully is not gay, as gay as the Ed and Eddie Jimmy. La lag. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Pure. Well, I say I pop your balloon. 
douche nozzle. Yeah. Keep your mouth and on, shame, loser. Are you the one who popped that up there? Not bad. For a Deku scrub. <laughs> Douchebag. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. Convenient. I'll give you a coach again. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But if you're... But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just let... I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Yes, I've been born ready. Alright, line up, guys. You can find all five of us by tomorrow morning. I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Okay. I just one kid just sat down for no apparent reason. Hold up, I hear footsteps. There you are! Ah, you caught me! Now there are only four left. First ones are easy. Come back, delicious rupee plants. Oh well, there's the gym kid. Get your butt back here! Ah, you caught me. Now there are only five, three left. Now let's go over here because the next two are over here. Hopefully I can get them all before the time limit runs out. And the kid blocking the door does not count as one. That guy has a Coleco! Get your ass back here, kid! Holy crap, that kid can halt some ass. Thanks for running into me. Ah, you caught me. No, there's only two left. And there's the kid up there. To get him, we gotta use this Deku flower, of course. Simple. Get your ass back here! Ah, you caught me now, there's only one left. Oh, you were saying something, Tail? Oh, why do we have to play with these these stupid practices? Little guys, hurry up and find them already. Only 60 hours and 16 minutes left till morning. That's enough time. There's one place we haven't visited yet. Hey, Apprentice, don't just stand there looking at the sky all day. Okay. Here it is. Place we haven't visited. West Clock Town. And I see that kid up there. Your ass is grass, kid! Ah, no way, you finally got me. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human. Then I can give you the original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you say, guys? No way! No Deku scrubs! I find that discriminatory! I guess not. Once we let a kid who wasn't a human join our game, and boy did we ever regret it. Sorry! But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can only tell you once, though, so pay attention. Are you ready? Um, actually, no. Give me a second, folks. Okay, now I'm ready. The code is 214... Five, three. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clocktown. Okay, I got that written down. Alright, we got the code. Sweet deal. Sweet deal. But that does it for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda and Majora's Mask. Tune in next time, for we shall go to the observatory. Till then, see you next time.